close to I know where you home. Mad. Your cat's right. gonna be very upset I'll with you. Be, be mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And away we go. All right. What's up, Beer and Sunshine friends? It's your pal, Tommy T, and of course, Nikki Goldsmith. And as we start off every show here, we have Satchel's Last Resort. And today we have Lizzie. And uh, if you could tell, tell the folks sure. about Lizzie a little bit, that'd be awesome. Lizzie's about, actually about nine years old. We have had her at the shelter for eight years. She was found in a warehouse, petrified during a really bad storm. So she's storm phobic. Um, she's great with people, though. She happens to love this woman right here. <laughs> I'm trying to leave her here, uh, but I'm not sure how good Lizzie is with cats, so I'm not mm. sure that's going to work. But anyway, so Lizzie's available for adoption at Satchel's. She's, like I said, about nine years old. She's very sweet. She loves people. She has lived with children. Um, she has lived with some other dogs. She's a little bit dog selective, but she needs a home. She's been with us way too long. So, and Satchel, hey, Satchel's is here in Sarasota, in the Sarasota area? We are in South Sarasota. We're on Clark Road, and we have 12 acres, and we have a lot of dogs. We are a special needs rescue. We take in extreme medical, and we take in behavior problems. So if you are a wonderfully hearted person, get in touch with us. We have wonderful dogs mm -hmm. that you can have. People who adopt from us are very special. And I'll make sure that I link everything in the description after the show so you guys can figure out how to get Lizzie and their uh, website and all that information. So you'll be thank good you to go. Thank you very awesome. much. And thank you, Baron Sunshine. Yeah, it's of course. It's a great show. It's a pleasure, pleasure to have you guys every week and, and, and your awesome she's puppies. <laughs> she's a great lap dog. Bye, Lizzie. Yeah. Okay. It was nice to meet you. Are you going to go? Nope. <laughs> she's happy. She right here. She's right now. Come on, we're gonna go. You gonna go? Go on, go on sweetheart. Bye, Lizzie. Oh, I, don't want to go. I wouldn't want to leave Bye. Jillian either. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We'll you see you next week. Cool. Oh, feel free. Yeah. Feel free. Um, Nikki, you you want to let her in? She, I absolutely she get... do. <laughs> oh, oh, she's running away. Oh, she's running. Oh, that was it. Was another. Uh, that was uh, one of our other friends from Satchel's Last Resort. That we there was a door here that's that's uh, that she couldn't get in. Anyway. Uh, we, we love having them, love having the pups, and most of all, we love having breweries from the Tampa Bay area here. And today we have uh, some great folks. As you can see, we've got quite a crowded couch here tonight. We've got KJ and Jillian, owners of Levin Brewing in Riverview, and we have one of their uh, superstar employees. We've got Dom, That's who, <laughs> who, who, who's, a, who's a Sarasota local, but uh, I guess you hike it all the way up there to Riverview because you work at an awesome brewery. Is that right? I have too much fun there. Too much fun. <laughs> well, cheers, guys. Thanks for doing cheers. Beer and Sunshine. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having us. We really appreciate it. I, I think I said this, but of course, yes, we have the li lovely Nikki Goldsmith back with us. She was just in L.A. Yes, I was. Tearing it up out there, I imagine. Uh, you know, if tearing it up is going to bed at 8 p.m., then I'm your girl. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was awesome. It, it was really cool. I uh, was there for work, actually, but got some time to hop around a couple different breweries, and everyone was completely amazing, which I wasn't expecting. L.A. kind of has a bad rep, um, but everyone I ran into was awesome. Do you so, mean any celebrities? I did not. I, I went to Beverly Hills, and I was eating at a restaurant, and I looked over, and a bunch of people were talking to someone, but I had no idea who they were. <laughs> so maybe. I watched the VMAs I, the other day, and I had no idea who anyone was. I so I could know. be at the same table with today's celebrities, <laughs> and I'd be completely out of yeah. that, that, that's it. That's me like with not athletes. Tom Cruise, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I, <laughs> you got to be like next level celebrity, otherwise I have no clue. I'm out of the loop. Well, next time, next time. When Beer, <laughs> Beer and Sunshine makes it out there again, yeah. we'll be sure to meet some celebrities. But uh, thank you very much, guys, for doing the show. We appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, we've got, I guess we're all drinking some big top brews here. Of course, I have my uh, Ashley Gang that I'm quite loyal to. Uh, or maybe Ashley Gang's quite loyal to me. I'm not sure. What are, what are you guys drinking? I'm doing the uh, Belgian quad. My wife says I'm more interesting with a little bit of buzz. So <laughs> yeah. I, I went to we, that. All are. So, we all are. We all are. Who is it? I think I met you, Buzz. So <laughs> there was that. We didn't meet at a world of beer. So we didn't. no, yeah. no. Well, um, I have the raspberry right. balloon there, and I don't remember the name of it. To be ringmaster. it's the ringmaster. It's the ringmaster. Yeah. That is a good name for it. Somebody Lester. always has one on the show now. Somebody always has. Well, I, it's, it's in just season. Like delicious. You yeah, know? it's super like delicious. It's, it's totally yeah. In the best kind of way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about oh, you, Dom? This is the uh, Circus Act Black IPA. The Black IPA. It's good yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. really good. You didn't tell us we had to know the names of the beer before we got it. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. How dare you? Don't worry. We know the names. You can just tell us, describe <laughs> yeah. it to us, and we'll have yeah, a pretty good idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I also. 
also have Ashley Gang as usual. Nice. So. Awesome. How do you yeah. guys get the well big done. cups, of the, the big glasses of the Ashley Gang? I only got <laughs> the little one. Here. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> you know, they're like, oh, you? Here you go. Here's the big Yeah, one. as you know, the show, and for those of you who don't know, that you've never, if you've never seen Beer and Sunshine before, we're a show that's all about the craft beer scene here in the Tampa Bay area. And we are, uh, our home base is Big Top Brewing Company here in Sarasota. Uh, pretty easy to find if you use your GPS. Otherwise, it is impossible to find, but is one of Sarasota's best kept secrets and one of, one of the premier uh, breweries here in the Tampa Bay area. And now Pensacola and soon Gainesville here by the end of the month, which unfortunately I'm not going to make this next trip, but uh, guys are going up there to finish it off and get it, get it going. Uh, but enough about me. Let's talk about you. What, uh, <laughs> what, tell us about Levin Brewing. How'd you guys become brewers? We're, Whereas Jillian a home brewer and, and you hated beer and she converted you? Because that's a typical story I mean, usually. That's not quite it, but um, yeah. we were very close. Um, KJ was never a home brewer, so, you know, very close. Oh, yeah, interpretation. so actually uh, I had a photography <laughs> and videography business. Okay. And I showed up um, at uh, a brewery in Fort Myers, Fort Myers Brewing, uh, shortly after their grand opening. Mm -hmm. And uh, was taking pictures. And Let me guess, she was, she was there and you were like... You took your camera out and you said, um, I know this is going to sound creepy, but uh, could I take some photos of you? Would you come back to my place? Would you, were you there? <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, I didn't meet Jillian until probably uh, three years into my brewing career. Okay. So once again, but, you're really uh, close. Really close, but yeah. Not, no, okay. <laughs> um, so, I was taking pictures and was already a big craft beer fan on the, on the, the drinking end of it. Mm -hmm. And then I saw it being brewed and... I'm like, this is really cool. And so I, being a photographer, I had a lot of free time. In Southwest Florida, the only real way to make any money is, is to do weddings. And uh, you do those on, you know, Saturday. And the rest of my week was free. And I could edit yeah. when I wanted to. So I volunteered there about 30 to 40 hours a week, washing kegs, cleaning tanks, learning how to brew. So my first batch of beer was 10 barrels. So I never was a, a home brewer, like yeah, she was saying. Yeah. But uh, um, and just started volunteering there and worked my way up to head brewer. And in uh, 2016, we won best large brewery in the state of Florida. And then two months after that, I went to Brew Hub, worked my way up to uh, head brewer at Brew Hub. And then Jillian and I had been married for about eight months, and she was very unhappy in a teaching career. I said, you know what? Instead of buying a house, let's uh, let's go ahead and, and and do something. And so, you know, we always joke, you know, after you get married, you have three choices: have a baby, buy a house, or open a brewery. So we went with really. That was a joke you guys yeah. made, right? Because like, <laughs> awesome. was like, oh, well, you know, like how'd you start the brewery? I said, well, we got married, and you only have three choices after you get married: you have a baby, you buy a house, or you open a brewery. I don't know if you know about the third option, but. It is a choice. Well, that's your shtick, and now really everybody choice. knows it, so. Yeah, thank you, thank you. They're going to come to your, people are going to see the show, they're going to go to Eleven Brewing, which, I'm actually, people probably will see the show and go to Eleven Brewing, because I only know about you guys because of Nikki, cause, yeah. right? Because you you're kind of local to them, you're really yeah, close. They, they, uh, besides uh, Four Stacks, which is a little bit close to me, when you guys were opening, I was like, another brewery? That's yeah. not like a half an hour away? Oh my God! I like literally started crying internally because I was so excited. Um, because th this is my home base, but it's pretty far from me living um, really far. Up, up by Ruskin. And I was just super excited. I just kept stalking their Instagram pretty much every single day, seeing like, I'm like, okay, it's gutted. Okay, they, they got tanks now. Okay, I'm like, when, when are they going to open? When are they going to open? And they finally did, and I went in. And, you know, sometimes when you go into a new place, you don't know if it's going to be for you. You know, just because something's new and it, it's opening up, it's exciting, but is it a place you're really going to want to go back to? And this absolutely is. You guys, awesome. like I've said, are the most personable, awesome, kind people that make people just feel welcome, like sitting alone at the bar. Um, part, tru and, truly part of the brotherhood guys. of yeah. beer. Because sure. that's, you know, that's what every brewery, that's how every brewery should be described. You know, and if they're yeah, not, you. they don't last too long or they end up with some serious problems and end up getting you know, <laughs> the com the beer community boots them. Yeah, um, and they get the, the black mark. That's right, yeah, yeah. That, that's true, the black mark of death. But uh, <laughs> that's cool, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm terrible. I, I you know, I'm, I've been uh, doing the beer and such a thing for about three years now, so I try and keep tabs on what's going on in the Tampa area, but there's so many breweries it's popping exploding. up all the time. Yeah, it's crazy. And I'm a real creature of habit, and I live across the street from here, and I work here, so I tend to do most of my drinking here at Big Cop. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I try to get out and about, so you guys are on the list. I'll definitely have to get up awesome. there and... Yeah, come for, for a sure. visit and drink some beers. And and Dom was doing an awesome job yesterday of telling <laughs> about about some of the beers that you 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 make and and some of the stuff that you you've got coming down the pike here. Uh, we're I was specifically sours. 
I was asking about sours. We might so, have brought um, one for you, but it's like super classified because we haven't dropped it yet. Uh huh. Um, but it's so here for you. Top secret. It's top secret. Top secret. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. here for you. So though. you know this is on the internet, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, so yeah. they, they know it's coming, but they don't know what it is. Oh, so, so I can't say? No, you can. So I, mean, I can just go, oh my God, it's delicious. Yes, yeah, find out soon. So okay. we have we have our Funkoween <laughs> coming up on Saturday. And so we've got uh, a couple different bands that are playing funky jazz music. Uh-huh. And then also we're releasing four different um, sour beers. So Yeah, um, that's, that's what you were saying. And we brought one of those with. Cool, cool. All right, well, maybe I just won't, I just won't say anything. I'll just... Talk about how delicious it is without so talking good. about how Sorry, delicious it is. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> we, we might be able to do a, you know an exclusive announcement for for all the people here at uh, Sunshine and Beer. Cool. Well, it's just so beer, and, beer and sunshine. Beer and, beer and sunshine. sunshine. They go both ways. Same thing. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I say things yeah. back ass words, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Why absolutely. not? I'm just somewhat dyslexic. I'm pretty sure, so <laughs> that works for me. But uh, well, cool, cool. Yeah, we'll definitely get to trying those in, in a little bit. Um, but uh, so, where are you guys from originally? Fort Myers. Well, I mean, I'm, well, I'm from New born Jersey. Race. Yeah, good. You're from Jersey. I'm from Jersey. Oh my gosh! Like, I'm Jersey's sorry you have strong. to leave now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just kidding. Are great people. Hi, Jersey. We are awesome people. You are. You are. You're, might... you're almost New Yorkers. You're, I'm from New York. Exactly. Yeah, I get it. I understand uh, okay. the whole. You know. Well, we might say our vowels kind of funny, but I she mean, can't take a left-hand that. turn. She doesn't know how to pump her gas. <laughs> Listen, and this is now become other a roasting that, show. Wow, really that's just mean. He just doesn't like women, I guess. I, I don't know. Just kidding. He probably loves women. Clearly, clearly. Obviously. Look, she's a woman. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> we. You know, we we have we do have a funny accent in that. Well, I say we. I, where I grew up is Orange County. It's the border of New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Right, okay. the true like tri-state. Right. I'm 15 yeah. minutes from Jersey, 15 minutes from uh, Pennsylvania. And people in Jersey and people from where I'm from in New York, mm-hmm. we all to me all sound like we're from Pennsylvania. Like it's the classic Pennsylvania. Like a lot of times, you probably will catch yourself saying "water." Water. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's water and dog constantly. Dog. Oh, sure, dog oh, for and, sure. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's a new, that's a new one, but I I probably do that as well. Um, but well, what part of Jersey are you from? Uh, the Jersey Shore. Like, you know, oh, I, what? I yeah. I was going like to say Oh, out yeah. Right now. I used to go to Seaside Heights Dude. every summer for, uh, yeah, I boom. wasn't allowed to go to Seaside Heights. Fist bump, all right. <laughs> but I would anyway. My parents loved What's you. What's up? We're practically cousins. We're practically cousins. <laughs> really? I know. Yeah. Don't so he was one of the Bennies. Yeah, sorry. I, when, when, that, when that Jersey Shore show came out, my, so when I, my wife is born and raised here in Sarasota. We met up in Charlotte, North Carolina. And when that show came out, uh, we were living in Charlotte. And uh, she already, when she met me, because I lived in Tampa for about 15 years, and when I met her up there, she's like, oh, you know, where are you from? I was like, oh, I, I lived in Tampa for a long time. Yeah. She's like, oh, you're a Tampa douchebag. I'm oh, like, no. yeah, it's, pro- it's true, actually. I was like a true, a real legit Tampa douchebag. Me and all my buddies, you know, just spending way too much money on shirts and things like that and going out and, <laughs> you oh, know, it was all it was all gym tan laundry all the time. It was, I mean, that was like a real thing yeah, in Tampa. It is. It is. And uh, and so when that show came out, she just looked at me and I looked at her and I'm like, yeah, those were my buddies. I, I literally hung out with people just like them all the it's time. It's not a stereotype if it's, it's always true. It's, it's real. It's real. It's a real thing. But I have since uh, put that behind me. Those days are gone. And uh, like now forever in your heart, right? Oh, forever, really. Forever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really. I'm fist bumping internally all the time. Okay, awesome. All me the too. time. Me too. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> what, what about you, man? Born and raised in Fort Myers. So second generation Florida cracker. My parents were from Connecticut and New York, but but you left yeah. you left the north up there. Yeah, my dad down moved down to Fort Myers when he was like one. Really? So yeah. For, I don't know. I don't know too much about Fort Myers. I just know that there's a the what are those guys? Fort Mead, Meadery, the Mead. They're like into Mead. So and really good guys. Fort Mead is more inland. Okay. Is there is there a Mead company in Fort? Well, I've been out yeah. there for three yeah, years the, now. There's an, there's an old episode from last year. Uh, and these dudes came out. I actually wear their t-shirt all the time here in the brewery. But uh, really good guys. I, and God, I'm such a jerk for forgetting people's names all the time. But I can't remember the names. They're awesome. Uh, Fort Misery. It's called Fort Misery. Oh. No, no, that makes sense. Fort, sorry, yeah. my bad. So yes. Fort Meade Fort is Mead, another no, town yes, in Florida. It's not Fort Meade. Okay. It's Fort Misery <laughs> is the name of their their brewery, <laughs> meadery. That makes um, sense. Yeah. Gosh, I'm terrible. Yeah. yeah, I thought so when you said you were from New York, but I was, was just going to keep that to myself. I think it is Ian. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know those guys? I, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good yeah, know, good yeah. guys. Really yeah. good guys. Um, yeah, they drove all the way from Fort Myers up to Hudson, where we used to shoot the show last year. 
Um, they drove all the way up there. I think they even got a hotel room and stayed up there and stuff like that. They're awesome. really great. great guys. We met them at a, at a festival last year, and, and they let us try some stuff that was out of this world. Cool. cool. So they make some really interesting brews. But uh, what about you, Dom? Where are you from? Uh, oh, you said you're from here. Yeah, yeah. Bradenton born, but yeah, Bradenton, Sarasota raised. Cool. Yeah, I met him last night yeah. actually in the in the ta- in the tasting room. Yeah, you just happen to have the uh, the Levin Brewing shirt on, and yeah. uh, Tommy, <clears throat> Tom Harris, who's uh, kind of our he's uh, our brew house manager here. He walked out and he goes, "Hey, that guy's got a Levin Brewing shirt. Dude, is that the guy's been on the show?" I'm like, "I have no idea." I was like, "Maybe he just bought it there." And then I, I he said he overheard you talking to someone. He's like, "No, he works there." So I, I mean, you gotta scope yourself. out the place before we come, and yeah, I, I gotta make sure down. that the family yeah. is okay to be here. <laughs> so. yeah. It's real cool. safe. Good looking out. Yeah, no, uh, honestly, yesterday was the first time I had been in the Big Top. I've had plenty of the beers, but I haven't actually been to the location. Get out of here, really? Yeah, and I, I spent a lot of time at one of the bars up the street here. So now Where? I'm finally here. Uh, the Cocker Bowl. Oh, yeah, Cocker Bowl. We yeah, go there so all the time. Yeah. yeah. We, yeah. we were just there I've yesterday. Known, yeah, Howie and Don. I've known <laughs> no? Howie and Don for <laughs> years, so I've always <laughs> been hanging no. out there. So. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, they're, yeah, they're gonna. Spot. They've so far they have never done an episode of Beer and Sunshine, but they're going to. Awesome. Um, yeah, we were actually talking a couple weeks ago. If I see him tonight, I'll, I'll pound it into him and make sure it happens soon. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. It's not torture, guys. You get to sit down and drink beer and just talk. It's not no, so they're just oh. busy. There they're just they're so the busy. Those they are very busy. those two are crazy yeah. busy. Um, but and and I, I I think I tried to show Howie the show on my phone when I was there last time. Um, we have some really interesting stuff to talk about with those guys, too. How he does some, some interesting things mm-hmm. over there. Um, but, uh, well, that's great. Great. Cool. Good, good to have uh, Jersey in the house. Yeah. <laughs> and some, and some, some couple of locals. Well, a few locals. You're, you're local. You grew up uh, here, born and didn't raised you? Sarasota. Yeah, that's around right. the corner. Around the <laughs> so corner. I have corners. not wandered too far as much as I try. Awesome. But, so, yeah. what, so when you guys decided to create Levin Brewing, what, uh, what inspired you as in... When you talked about the brewery and what you wanted it to be, what you want, the atmosphere and the type of beers you wanted to make, what was that conversation conversation like? We wanted it to be a hyper local scene. So, um, you know, we lived in South Tampa for some time, and we just have the best beer connections. So you we met have, my douchebag friends. Yes. You know, you know, what we're I talking know, about all it. All of your douchebag friends. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I, I saw them, they were like, "Hold on, we're busy buying shirts." Um, yeah, yeah, but, for sure, I'm sure. Um, you know, we just had so many good role models uh, in Tampa and we knew that just wasn't what we could afford at the time because Mm -hmm. I literally quit my teaching job he stopped brewing and we were like oh crap we actually have to do something now wow so um, we we found a need and fulfilled it there really wasn't any beer in Riverview and so the one thing we always admired about the breweries we like the best is that there's just this feeling of home and family yeah so like even when i was interviewing dom i was like listen bud like you're not interviewing for a bartending job you're part of the fam like Mm -hmm. if if you're in like you are family cool um and it's just like it's jersey stuff (laughs) when you're in (laughs) you're in you don't get out (laughs) no you don't get out did you hear that you don't get out um but yeah you know we just we wanted a place where people would come and like you know i'd be able to say like oh hey how'd your kid do on that test or did you get that new house or you know whatever and we just wanted to root ourselves somewhere i mean we're a brand new family we'll eventually probably have a child so Mm -hmm. you know to have a community and a place to network and know people that you're comfortable is really what we wanted to start for ourselves i'm in my late 30s and like growing up i was watching cheers we wanted a Mm -hmm. a modern day cheers you know where literally you know everyone knows your name and and so instead of Norm, so we've got, we've, too, we've got like, Dan. Hey, we, have, we actually here at Big Top, we have a Norm. He's a local cattle farmer that comes here and picks up grain. And yeah, he had, we loaded him up tonight before I went home to get a shower. And when he shows up, I literally, as I was going up to his, pulling up to his truck on the forklift, I was, I was going to ask him, so should every time, you, every time you show up here, should I go, Norm? And I, yeah. I, I, it never happened, but uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask him that. So awesome. I, I we need a Norm. We, we, we got a couple, we couple have, other well, ones. Uh, yeah. We have a couple of them. Yeah. So. And they, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of awesome what, what's so, so it sounds like a really smart idea. You know, you looked for a place. You looked for, you looked for a place that, that had a need, right? R- yeah. R- Riverview. And uh, that makes sense to me because you're the first brewery I've heard of in Riverview. Mm-hmm. Are there other breweries there now? Not in uh, Riverview. Not in Riverview. There's uh, one in Lithia Pinecrest, um, which and is we have four stacks. And then four stacks, stacks down in Apollo Beach. Beach. Right. Mm-hmm. Copper Tail's um, to the north of us. Yeah, so we're we're eight miles from Apollo Beach. We're eight miles from uh, Bullfrog Creek and eight miles from yep. Copper Tail. It's a great central location so, for you guys. Yeah. We're next to 75, which yeah. makes it yeah. like, super easy to So visit. where do you guys live now? 
Uh, we actually I like that you asked just, we yeah. just bought yeah. <laughs> so um, in, in Riverview. Yeah, in Riverview, really? three three miles from from not even three miles, three, three minutes, minutes from the brewery. Because when um, the alarm goes off at one a.m., ain't no one want to get out of bed, get dressed, drive twenty five minutes to check out what's going on no, with the door. Uncle Ryan. No, no. Oh Ryan. Uncle Ryan. Yeah, Uncle Ryan. So, so yeah, um, we we just bought a townhouse right down the road. Who's so Uncle Ryan? Is that a relative? Uncle Ryan Literally is her uncle. little he's uncle. He's actually my uncle, little but uncle. he is everyone's uncle. Mm-hmm. So okay. I tell everyone at the brewery in the tap room. Now too. Yes. So like you have to call, <laughs> I probably told you, you have to call him Uncle Ryan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's so funny because he's from New Jersey. He moved down here recently. Uh-huh. And um, he was somewhere the other day and he hears, hey, Uncle Ryan. He turned around. He's like super proud of himself for being like, you know, a little <laughs> local That's cer- celebrity. Mm-hmm. Is he an older gentleman? He's like, as old uh, as KJ. He's so, I, I'm, I'm, I'm nine years older than my wife. So um, yeah, he's, he I'm first ten went, years older than my wife, oh, but I you like your you style. Right, I so, like your style. So uh, he's he's three months older than me. Yeah. Oh, that's hysterical. So yeah. he's in his thirties, and everybody calls him Uncle, Uncle Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Like everybody, like everybody. everyone, yeah. even older everybody. people. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Why? Yes. What's the deal with it? Where well, does that come my from? Uncle, and so he's whenever, literally your uncle. The problem you're is related. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm actually related, and so I mean, whenever I'm around him, I still feel like the seven year old, and he's like, you know, the the older, cool uncle. And so I'm like, this is my uncle Ryan. <laughs> oh, that's so, great. So like, he just caught on. He's he's Uncle Ryan. Uh, I didn't believe it at first. I, I like at first I was like. <laughs> Oh, that's just his nickname. And then, like, you know, a weekend, it's like, oh, no, she's my legit niece. And I'm just like, okay, my mind is blown because you guys aren't that far apart and you're awesome. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> this is great. want to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. I didn't believe it. So my mom and her uncle are the same age. That's, that's <laughs> intense right So my, gra- my grandmother and my great-grandmother had children at the same oh, time. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah so, but same age. They grew up so being almost my, like siblings. So my my wa- my wife that. Lee, who, <laughs> who you know, my my wife. Yeah. She is almost the same age. She's 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 a little bit older than one of her nieces. Yeah. And it happens. I, uh, thanks to my wife family, I have. Let me see. I got five, eight, <laughs> oh, <man>. ten. <laughs> Who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting one of them. Uh, so 13. So I have, thir- I have 13 nieces and nephews. I have a bunch of them. Yeah, so exactly. and I am not Uncle Tom. I'm Funkle Tom, uh, which for obvious reasons, yeah, obvious I'm reasons, I'm the fun uncle. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I you know, haven't really gotten in anybody in trouble yet, yet. But it's happening. It will happen one of these days. We're close. We're real close. I can feel it. I really can. It's awesome. Well, that's cool. So you got Uncle Ryan. He has an Instagram. It's at everyone's Uncle Ryan. Oh, are you kidding? Oh my gosh, he only I'm has two pictures, but I mean, it, it's it's gonna be a thing. So. I hope he has more followers than anyone. Like, I hope he I know, has, like, right? Ten thousand followers in two pictures. Yeah. What is That's his? What is his? What is his deal with this Uncle? What's his? What's his end game with the Uncle Ryan thing? I don't think he was aware that it was gonna become a thing. I kind of just forced it upon him. I'm like, you are Uncle Ryan to everybody now. He's okay. Like, wow, wow, that's hysterical! It's just I love like, it. It is what it is. There's really no option. But you know, <laughs> hey, but I like what you guys are saying. But you know, as far as the atmosphere, what you're looking for, um, you know, like I said, this is my home base, big top. This is very much a family place. Yeah. And all all the all the fun over time, I would say over over the years, like fun bars that I've hung out at, fun breweries that I spent time at. If it has that atmosphere, it always does really well. You know, it always does really because well people. You, you get you have serious loyalty, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you build you build that that local, your local following, and then the people that come there they, they feel that because people yeah. come here for the first time and they say this is, feels like a like a real family atmosphere. Yeah. Like everybody seems to know everybody, and it's that whole thing. Like, you know, people you know here at least here at Big Cup, most breweries, there a lot of them are dog friendly, and mm-hmm. you know everybody knows the dogs, and if you know the dogs, mm-hmm. you know the people, and then you know you know so and so's husband, so and so's wife, so and so's what brother cousin, right, you know. Right. And it, it's, it's, so it works out like that. That's great. That's great. And so has it worked out that way? Is that? Is oh that, yeah, we've yeah? got our uh, Fletch is is our unofficial mascot. And so it's this. He's a, a ten out of ten pup. Yeah, he's, he's a <laughs> south, south. So you know um, uh, Hercules from the Sandlot. Yes. Yeah. He's, he's the, that dog. The big old a mastiff. Dog? Yeah. Oh, no, so he's he's, he's a African south African borble. Borble. So it's like a smaller version a of okay. a it's English a mastiff. <laughs> okay. Um, a but borble. he's but he's still. Probably 150 pounds. Is it your dog? Uh, no, no. But, um, just one of our regulars. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! So like, 
uh, Fletch will walk through the door. Uh -huh. So Fletch's owner is Rob. We learned Fletch's name first. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> um, and so Fletch will go up to the bar and see Dom. Mm -hmm. And so immediately he's up on the bar, <laughs> waiting, <laughs> waiting for his biscuits. Treats. So yeah, we have, nice. we have biscuits yeah. behind the bar, and so <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. We and, almost and thought of having he a stash catches on, you know, after about five minutes, and he shows up three or four more times throughout the night whenever he's hungry. Oh, yeah, that's so. cool. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> that's super awesome. So what? So what is what is the atmosphere of the place like from your opinion? Um, well, as 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 somebody behind the bar, you know, we're not listening. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if your bosses aren't here right now. Just be honest. No, I'm. I I don't have a job. I go and I hang out with my friends every day, which is awesome. And like every single person that walks to the door, it seems like. Within an hour's worth of time, I've like known their life story, and yeah. I'm seeing them come in the next day or the next week, and we can pick up right where we left off, and it's it's an awesome atmosphere to be in, and I couldn't ask for anything better than that. So Aww. cool! I have cool. I'm I'm here. I'm I, I have a good time. I, I I would rather be at work than at home. Wow, so, that's awesome! Yeah, we that's, just, we that's always have great. a good time there, and you know, I get to go in and pour beers for my friends and just hang out and chat with them. So cool! I think that's the way it should be, right? If you're if, as as somebody behind the bar, you want to feel that way. I, I actually mm -hmm. myself, I just uh, Thursday nights, I trained last Thursday, and I'm going to be uh, doing some bartending at uh, uh, beer tending at uh, Mr. Beery's down at Gulfgate. Nice. Oh, yeah. And uh, so we're doing like a ladies' night slash. Uh, open mic night thing, not for comedy, but for, like for musicians. Cool. And uh, so I did last Thursday. I'll be, be there this Thursday again, doing some training and stuff. Um, but it, Gulf, Gulf Gate's an interesting place, though. It's an interesting it's place. Really I didn't is. realize. I didn't realize what Gulf Gate. Gulf Gate it is. is so um, right over by Munchies Four Twenty. Oh yeah. Around yeah, the yeah, right down oh, the I mean, street. I've been there. <laughs> yeah, it's. it's a uh, I was just there yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's it, Mr. Beery's is an awesome place. That's been there for a while. Yeah. Ton of ton of you know incredible selection. Um, you know, maybe I'll uh, I'll say a little something. I'll, I'll put a little little bug in uh, yeah. in Mike's ear there, Mr. Berry himself. We'll see, maybe we'll get some Leaven Brews. But then again, we got to try them first. We got yeah, we got to yeah. see what so these are all about. Don't be promoting anything until you tried it. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I've that's tried right. It. I can vouch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not these, but I, I've tried them. So. And so, do you guys have games and stuff there? Or like, what's what's the play? We, to uh, give me, give pick, paint me a picture. It's what's beautiful. it look like? You're, like you're gonna that. open open the door and be greeted by Dom's lovely face. He's gonna smile. <laughs> and a hundred and fifty pound dog. Yeah, and yes. hundred yeah. um, <laughs> and uncle and, uh, and uncle uh, uncle what was his and name again? Uncle Ryan. Ryan. Uncle Ryan. Ryan. Uncle, I was gonna say Uncle Ray. Uncle Ryan. Uncle Ryan. Okay. He'll be around somewhere, I'm sure. Um, and so I mean, you know, I always say like we're not novel. Like we didn't invent the idea of a brewery. Like we didn't invent a concrete countertop and wood on the walls and all this. Um, I think. We do things in a little bit more of like a modern, clean, non-rustic way, which might set us apart a little bit mm -hmm. as far as like aesthetics go. Yep, yep. Um, but we have board games and we have a shuffleboard table. Thanks, mom. Uh, <laughs> she was like, she was like, uh, you, 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 what do you do at the brewery? Well, you drink beer. She's like, well, people need something to do. So she she got us a like a tabletop shuffle. People shuffleboard. need something to do. They're not I just going to sit there and drink beer. Exactly. <laughs> well, we can't just drink beer. Is that, is that, yes, is that your New Jersey yes. accent? Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. my Jersey. That's mom. great. You got to play um, some shuffleboard. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, something that's like a hashtag struggle for us is the fact that we don't have like a roll up garage door leading to the outside. Um, we do have a set of double doors, so we'll pull food trucks right up to there. Uh -huh. um, but I mean, we're about 4,000 square feet. Brew house is in the back. Five it's barrel, two vessels. Good sized place. Yeah, it's really it's good size big. place. Yeah. Uh, I'd say we have about 75 seats or so. And you, so you have no, you have any outdoor seating at all? A little Very patio. Little. little patio, little yeah. patio. It's, it's and so, so what are so like say what what are you what days are you open? Wednesday through Sunday. Wednesday yes. through Sunday, and then so like, what do you have? Do you have like, what do you do on Wednesdays, Thursday, Friday? Like, so, you have different yeah, activities, or, or like. Um, <coughs> Wednesday is Burger Night. We um, connected really well with a food truck, Dave's Jukebox Diner. If you ever need them, they are awesome. not only fantastic, like with their burger creations, but they're awesome people too. They open the food truck. What kind of burgers do they do? Do they think like pretty and, traditional oh, or pretty crazy? So, like, they have one called the Crybaby, and like by the end of it, Katie's like, "Why do you even eat it? You're like." Choking on it every time, like, it's so good. But like, like they put uh, the jalapenos in the Inside burger. The burger. Wow. They'll do like yeah. a Southwest burger and put guacamole in it, or they'll do oh, a yeah. wake up burger and put an egg on it. So they do something funky every time. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so the burger night, they have uh, like six or seven different styles of burgers. So okay. you get a burger, a beer, and fries for ten bucks. Nice. And, yeah. Uh, so it's like family yeah. dinner night at eleven. Yeah. 
Um, Thursday was trivia night. I think we're going to like put that on hold for a little while just to shake things up. Uh, but we always have live music on Saturdays, most of the time on Fridays. Um, and then Sundays are open for like, um, like we do a Hammer and Stain. That's the name mm-hmm. of the company, right? So what is that? Yeah, so um, you know like the paint parties where you like get drunk and paint stuff? My favorite. Right, right, right. So it's <coughs> a little bit different. Um, so she, it's this uh, woman, Lori, I met and she's lovely. Um, and so she does it on like wood and she'll print out like the stencils and you can go online and you know, pick, pick out what you want stencil. it to look like. Mm-hmm. So, um, who participates in that? Like, is everybody, it anybody? Anybody? Whoever. Really? Her and yeah, her mom so are going to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, your girlfriend's yeah, my girlfriend it. and my sister in law are going to do uh-huh. it. So. so, yeah, some days are more like that, you know, relaxed. My, wa- my wife would love that. Me? Personally, I'm so bad. I, I can barely write my name. Literally, so the good part uh-huh. I, if I write my name, I can barely read it. So the New York school system, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you got that oh, right, man. sister. You got that right. The bar's just around, literally on the other side of the room, so you can just hang out there. Yeah, so. that's what I would I'm do. I'm curious to know. So, Lemon, <laughs> what's the um, method behind the name? I never asked you guys that oh, before. We're super nerdy. Okay. No, I need to know. I love nerdy. Talk nerdy to me. So (laughs) there's, I'll I'll give you my my thought process as we were sitting in our apartment trying to come up with a name. The first name we wanted to come up with was Culmination Brewing because everything that we have done in our past kind of culminated in this point. Right. It was already taken like every other good beer name. So (laughs) every good name in existence. Exists. Yeah. There's there's no more original ideas anymore. Um, So. I was looking through a Zymergy magazine. Um, a what? Zymergy. Uh, Zymergy is the study of yeast. All okay. Right. They have and a magazine so, for that? <gasps> yep. Holy Science. beer nerdness. <laughs> beer yeah. Nerdness, Science. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Crazy like, beer yeah, nerdness. <coughs> that that <coughs> takes that takes things to another yeah. level. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I've never brewed myself. I, and I, you know, I figured out why. I, I, I hate cooking so much. I love Same. cooking. But I will wash dishes here. I wash kegs, and I'm cool with that. There you go. I do not. It's not that I don't want to brew beer. I just I don't want to. I don't want to cook anything. I don't want to brew beer. I don't want to brew beer. I I, I, I would. I'm beer. cool I with the I, the creative side of it. Mm-hmm. I'm cool with the creative side of it. Like I would like to, in, you know, come up with the recipes for beer. That'd be fun. But yeah, making the beer. I just want to drink it. Hardcore. Just want to drink it. So, so, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, so, no, 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 so, no, 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 so, yeah. Um, you say whatever you want. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you do you, boo. But right. it's yin and yang, yin and yang. We're <laughs> yin and yang, right, okay? Right. I'm the uh, other side of the coin. Exactly. I'm tails. Uh, your head's on tails. Um, so there's a, an expression that uh, brewers make wort and yeast makes beer. Like our, our job is as brewers is to make happy yeast environment. Mm-hmm. All right. And so I wanted to have to do something with yeast and its process and so I looked up uh, other words that were, you know, um, in relation in to relation to, to yeast, and saw leaven. And most people know leaven as the act of bread rising, like right? leaven bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. That's bread, what I right? thought it was leaven. But, but just like leaven bread. as a noun, it's a transformative property that changes something for the better. So uh-huh. we are transforming grain for the better by making it beer. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so that is the definition. Of I love smart. that you actually so picked that up. That is smart. Yeah. Yeah. My marketing Very nerd heart uh, is exploding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah I get it. I get it. This yeah. Cool. I'm yeah. right there with you. I'm so right there with you. super deep into like analytics of marketing before that like these two were like having their own side conversation mm-hmm. like in front of us and we're just like, yeah. And then you look at this and <laughs> she taught me so much. I'm just she, super appreciative. She, we, we, the first time her and I sat and talked mm-hmm. marketing, social media stuff. an hour. It eight was hours. eight hours yeah. sitting in, like, on the same gracious. stool, same stools in in the brew well, house there. Literally talked about nothing else except that for eight eight hours. I love it. And I was and we just shut it down because we just we had our my butt was killing me. Yeah. And yeah. I had to go home <laughs> or something. I had to bad. be somewhere. We had to, go home. Had to have I mean, a snack. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's yeah. She's yeah. she's intense. So knowledgeable. I'm a marketing nerd. Yeah, yeah. Can't help it. Yeah, but uh, well, that's cool. That that's that's awesome. Yeah, that that's a very very smart. Thank and you. so, who did who did the artwork here? Like, who created your logo? Is this your logo, basically? Uh, That's kind part of, of our yeah, logo. part of. Um, yeah. We have two. Um, we have two artistic geniuses in our lives. Um, first is Joshua Noom. Check him on out on uh, Instagram. So Josh Noom, he's done Joshua a bunch. Noom. Joshua Noom mm-hmm. Instagram. He's yeah. local guy. Right? Uh, um, he, I, so I. I Fort Myers. So he's actually Australian, but I grew up with him down in Fort Myers. Mm-hmm. And so he's in a band and, you know, does art for tattoos and um, 
got into this uh, Burton snowboard contest, mm -hmm. won it. Really? Won something with Miller High Life, and so now he's got like 60,000 awesome. followers Super on Instagram. Oh my goodness. So he's. What does yeah. he have? I mean, tattoo <laughs> artist in a band, <laughs> Australian. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Oh boy. Oh. He's, he's Is his last name Hemsworth? He's, man. No. He's, he's, he's happily married. married with so. a, a baby, awesome. a new baby. Yes. Wow. Um, but but yeah, he's. So, but I grew up with him. So he's not hurting for clients, though, probably, huh? He's probably got people beating down his door. He's doing well. He has to be. But he's a good friend of ours. I looked at his work. He's a very talented guy. That's cool. And then also, um, so he he was the original mind behind, well, actually Jillian and him worked back and forth together. He would send something, <coughs> sorry, um, I know that did He'd, he'd send something. He'd, he'd send something and I would draw um, over she'd draw it. over it. I'm like, uh -huh. I, I see this, but I, I like this. And then he would just like read her mind and just make it perfect and do so the same awesome. thing. So he's awesome. And then, um, because Justin. Josh is, is busy, you know, mm -hmm. and we have another friend, uh, Justin Peterson, so at Justin Peterson. Um, he's so awesome in what he does. He used to do the artwork for Tijuana Flats. You know, oh, yeah. the wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, cool stuff, that's cool stuff. cool stuff. We're friends yeah. um, with him and his wife, Erin, and together they are like, just this bomb ass couple. This, they're really Can I say cool. ass? You yeah. can say it's anything the like, girl. You it's the internet. It's yeah. the internet. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah, so they're just this awesome creative couple. Um, so he does a lot of like comic design and whatnot. And he's able to take anything that like Josh has done. And so he'll integrate Josh's work, but he'll kind of like add to it. So we yeah. have, yeah. we really have two people working behind us on that. And they do such a good job. What, uh, let me ask you, what are you guys into outside of beer like so what do you have in common with a guy who's an artist a musician and whatever I mean, are you a, you a music, musician yourself at all or I'm, I'm not a musician um I'm a you know 80s baby so like 90s rock and roll and grunge was kind of like my yeah, sweet spot true. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, my, I was supposed to ask my wife to marry me at a Pearl Jam concert Aww. but when oh. I explained it to my in-laws as I asked them for her hand in marriage my mother-in-law looked at me and said, "What's a Pearl Jam?" And I said, "Okay, I'll just do it here." And <laughs> I did it at our Pearl family. Jam. I did it at our family reunion on top of some mountain. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that was. But uh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. No, Eddie, Eddie's the man. Um, uh, KJ's that kid in high school where, like, you know, they have the jocks and then you have the preps and you have the cheerleaders and this and that. Yeah. KJ's the kid that like floats around to all the tables where he'd never that really, was like, me. fit into the That was me. That was me. That was me. So can't relate. But, yeah. you know, I, I, was, uh, I was on the all-star team for football in high school in the same year. You know, I, I did the school play and, you know, sure, did, sure. did other stuff as well. And, yeah. You know, yeah. involved with uh, the band at church and, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. So. I'm a, I'm a, I was, I'm a gearhead. I, I was, I was, you know, I, I played sports, played every sport there was. I was not good at them because I never stuck to any one sport long enough to get good at anything. And I was not particularly talented. I'm not an athlete. But, uh, but yeah, I'm a motorcycle guy. I've been riding motorcycles since I was 12 years old. So, but, but for me, you know, I was like, I related to everybody, that, that kind of thing, you mm -hmm. know, because I, I was born in the 70s. So I, my high school years were the 80s. So all the all the TV shows and the movies and stuff that are that are super popular now and all the stuff that you see about the eighties, I li I lived it, I lived it, yeah, yeah. So you know, I have lots of different interests. Like I said, I had a photography business. Mm -hmm. I, I love the art of that. Um, um, I love all kinds of different stuff, architecture. He's also he's also the guy where like when we first met, his mom had framed. Thanks, Donna, you are a star. <laughs> <laughs> his mom had framed. All of his business cards and there were like 19 of them but they were all businesses he started and i was like this is not for real no, I can, like something I can, he managed yeah. to either start i was started. a serial entrepreneur i can I can, <laughs> I can shit all over that 19 business card oh, okay. <laughs> my mother you now were this born in the 70s so you yeah. had some time ahead of him so like let's true true know, no no no, no but no but no no you don't understand when, when i say this my mother stopped counting my jobs at 75 and I was still in high school. She literally had a speckled notebook and just threw it away. Like, I wanted to try everything Me too. before I graduated I was, high school. I was you know right what I mean? There with you. But, uh, but no, that's, yeah, I get it. No, I've, I've had, there, the, the IRS has, doesn't, probably doesn't know what to do with me. I have, there are so many corporations. Door to door. I sold vacuum cleaners door to door. I sold windows door to door. Uh, uh, what else? Oh, I, uh, roofing. I did. I was insurance replacement roofing douchebag. I was one of those guys. Um, <laughs> that was fun. It's the theme of tonight, douchebag. Yeah, it's like, a douchebag episode. We'll do a but, collaboration called uh, douchebaggery. Uh, I am all about yeah. it. Sign me up. <laughs> we'll volunteer. But, yeah, no, yeah, no. I'm a serial entrepreneur myself. Yeah. 
Yeah, I actually work for my buddies here at Big Top because of my failed business that tanked a year ago. Everything but. for a reason. Yeah, yeah. So I'm re I'm in my regrouping phase right now. Which That's how I got started in, in craft beer. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, yeah, I'm glad, so. glad glad you guys are, are doing well. How long have you guys been open? How long has Levin Brewing been around? Like six months now. Oh, that's it. Oh, so you're yeah, new kids on the block. That's great. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. But but you know, I, I imagine people are saying good things about you. So what is it? What is the community of Riverview like? So you you decided to fill this space, this need, and did, did you feel like that plan is was was a good move? Do you feel like you picked the right spot? Is is does Riverview have an, are there enough people there? Because I know people for years have been moving to Riverview, buying houses because it was at one time it was dirt cheap. All my friends yeah, were yeah. buying properties there yeah. and, and flipping properties and stuff like that. And now I hear that you know values have gone up quite a bit there, and so, it's, a, it's a standalone community. So what happened is you got 75 here, and yep. then there was all these different little houses that were getting built all over mm -hmm. the place. Mm -hmm. And then all the way down at the end of Boyette, Fishhawk opened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Fishhawk is a huge community, but it's... It's like a Lakewood Ranch, but mm -hmm. like times yeah. a million. It, isn't it literally but called Fishhawk Ranch? It's uh, Fishhawk. Yeah. Just, just yeah. Fishhawk. One, one. I I Fishhawk Ranch is one of the communities in there. Oh, but they gotcha, have their gotcha. own Publix. They have, they are, oh, they, they like, have their own Outback. Uh, like, own like a West thing. Chase, like a West they're Chase kind of. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's, I think by the time they're done, there's gonna be over fifteen <laughs> the houses homes are out there. Oh wow! Yeah, ridiculous. and then they're all high end. And so once that happened, everything from seventy five to Fishhawk just started filling up. Yep. And all the Lennars and the U.S. homes and the KBs mm -hmm. and the, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. everyone mm -hmm. just, oh, that was another, I did new home sales for construction. Did you ever do that? In home <laughs> sales or in construction? No. Okay. I did sell construction <laughs> services. I actually, when I was in my yes. early 20s, sold, I, I don't know how many remodels there have been since then, but I sold a major, major remodel job to Macy's in Manhattan. I was living in Manhattan at the time. That's so interesting. I didn't make a dime off of it, though. I got totally oh, screwed. Well, but, but anyway. You know. Yeah. Living there. Huh. So, but anyways, Nostalgia. from all, all the way through, it's just been filling up. Within a five mile radius of us, there is like 27 communities being built oh, right yeah. now. Wow. So it is just. I that, think we, we made a good choice. Yeah. I, like, I like our area. Um, and I, you know, I, I didn't imagine that Levin would be in a strip mall. That obviously was like not the first choice, but it was like. I think it's that, a bad choice. No, though, I, I wouldn't say it's a bad you. choice either. <laughs> they really because, are. And the people in our like strip mall, center plaza, whatever you want to call it, they're great too. I don't know how it happens. What type of businesses are in there? So, <clears> funny enough, place? yeah. So, I saw uh, that. Philadelphia Pretzel <laughs> is opening next door to us. Mm -hmm. That couple is awesome. Um, we have Kimmy's Ice Cream, and that's owned by you know two guys my age, um, and they live across the street from us, which is is even one of them crazier. named Kimmy. No, there's actually no Kimmy, so <laughs> that's the funny part. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, but we have Vietnamese pho Spoiler, restaurant. Spoiler there's no Kimmy. Yeah. Um, there's a Domino's at the end. Um, that was the number one thing I loved about your plaza. When I was at the first time, I was like, there's a Domino's. I know, right? I mean, pizza and beer, it works, right? It's good yeah. for you. It's bad for us because oh, they bring yeah. it in all the time, and I'm just like, like man, I could eat right now. I could have a pizza. They're like, this is extra. Do you want it? And I'm like, yeah. 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 The answer is always yes. Absolutely. But yeah, um, a health food store, a gym. I, it's just like everything in the community is like a positive thing. There's yeah, no, yeah. like, not that there's a negative business, but I wouldn't necessarily want like We, we yeah. were We were at Good Liquid, Good Liquid in yeah. Bradenton. Yeah. Yeah, Those guys are in a strip yeah. plaza. Like that's, that's, yeah. yeah. It's Great. it's not the I've I I've they I, say hi by the way oh, I went there yesterday oh, they're, they're really they're the good good, good people. people we love you Mike and Sandra we do <laughs> or, and wait good liquid is yeah. it Mike and Carla no Sandra Sandra Mike and Sandra good job who's Connor. Carla who's Carla I don't know she's Connor. a waitress from Cheers oh. <laughs> you know it happens. Oh no! What have I done? It's Darn fine. It. It's okay. You're from New York. We give you. We forgive you. We forgive you. <sighs> anyway. That's why I'm here. Tampa douchebag. Um, I tell you. Tampa <laughs> douchebag, guys. Sorry, Sandra. Douchebag. My bad. Love you, Sandra. I've literally been talking to people for the past ever since we did that episode, and I keep saying Mike and Carla. Oh my gosh. I'm terrible. I'm an idiot. But I mean, at uh, least it ends with an A. They're, right? they're, yeah, we're close. We A for effort. Well, it's yeah. all been positive. I've said great things. Go she's see them a, she's adorable, by the way. She's very pretty. But yeah, she's there, really, Sandra. really cool. Um, uh, so I've been Love in it. plenty of breweries that are in in uh, little strip plazas. Mm -hmm. Plenty of them. Mm -hmm. And um, Naughty Monk is one also. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's, yeah. it's, to me, at the end of the day, it is people and environment. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even if you, if, if I can't eat, I'll be like, I'll find food. There, there. Cool. 
I'll find food. It'll there, come there is a brewery uh, called Infusion that is up in like, uh, like the Spring Hill area, kind of up up there, and those guys are the best. They're great. I actually brought, uh, I brought them with me to do the Tampa Bay Morning Blend once last year. Oh, fun. Um, good gut, really good people, and man, people love their brewery. Great following. The place gets jam packed, like super slam. They're right next to a pizza joint as well. Mm. So. Um, yeah, I'm sure you guys do great there. And it sounds like you know, I know Riverview is like I said, it's a, it's own it's its own it's its own own community, and it's a, it's a place yeah. that uh, there's a lot of people there now. But it sounds like that's going to blow up even more here with all the stuff that's that's going on there's being built. There's a lot built. of new construction being built for mm-hmm. sure. So, so what's your? Do you guys have a particular day that's your busiest day? What, what what's your busiest day of the week? It changes with what's happening. I mean, it used to be Friday through the summer. It's Saturday mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. that you know people. It is super suburbia too, you know, in in Riverview. So lots of young families. Young yeah. families. Um, so if you got to put your kid to sc- like to bed to get to school the next day, you're probably not at the brewery at night because yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, responsibility. Um, so yeah, I mean, our busy days are changing. Um, everything's always changing. I mean, we've been open six months. We can't predict a single thing. Sure, sure. And we're not going to try to at this point either. It's just frustrating too. So mm-hmm. well, know, sounds like you're having fun. So that that's all that all flow. that matters. You're having fun and and. Yeah. Uh, you know, make enough money to keep the lights on, keep the keep the doors open, food on yeah. the table, all Luckily that good that's, stuff. And that's how. <laughs> hey, Tommy, cool. what do you say we keep uh, the lights crack on? Open yeah, let's let's do it, right? Sweet, Pass for sure. It's a great sweaters. idea. Yeah, yeah. I like the way you think, Nikki. Um, we brought two beers for you. Like I said, um, we have four Berliners being released Thanks, on the twenty seventh. Uh, so this one is our cucumber Berliner. Oh yeah, that's the one I was Yay. excited to try. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dom. You're all right. Uh, you, um, you told me. Yeah, to I know. So KJ, do you want to like talk about? Oh gosh, this oh, is man. such a little it's, cup. It's okay. It happens. I'm spilling us. all over the table. It's like, an IKEA table. That's all right. It's okay. You're and you're I don't know whose table it is. Probably costs less than your beer. <laughs> We'll clean it up. Uh, yeah, so what we did was we brewed our base Berliner, um, and we separated it out into four one-barrel fermenters, and we were able to um, fresh treat each one of those with something different. Um, so those will be the four that we're um, releasing on the Do you want to go ahead and just tell everyone right now? And yeah, if, uh, as sure. As long as they're, they're followers of, uh, of this uh, podcast, cheers. they can know what's yeah. going on. Yeah, cheers, cheers. Cheers, guys. Thank you for bringing this. We yeah, appreciate So it. this is our cucumber Berliner Weiss. Smells great, and uh, mm. oh my God. we've got a raspberry coming out. You a, nailed it! You nailed it with that. Thank a bay you. breeze nailed it, which is uh, you know grapefruit and pineapple. Yeah, and then also a coconut lime. So those are so I anyone who's listening right down now. Your door for the <coughs> coconut lime. That's what I was thinking yeah. when he said coconut Co- lime. I was like, like wait, hey. what? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. And what, we're but doing a specialty release every two hours on Saturday? Every two hours. So we'll have one at 2, 4, 6, and 8. And I could not tell you. Yeah, this is, on Saturday this is fantastic. I mean, you, you got the cu- cucumber all day. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So uh, it was, I mean, well, I won't go there. But um, <laughs> so the day that we uh, cut up the cucumbers for this, mm-hmm. I was watching um, our cellarman, John, who's awesome, um, so he did all he's, of like... He's getting a little past Sellerman now. He's, I, he's, I know, he's starting I know. to... That's true. So, so we went to Asheville last week. and did. Uh, yeah, first time. Jealous. Just, and uh, um, I called John and said, hey, we're going to be gone. He's been helping helping me brew mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and getting getting some stuff. I'm like, you, you ready to like go? He's assistant brewer. And uh, yeah, he's... Uh, so I said, well, let's give it a shot. He's like, well, what if I mess up? Then... And we, we miss out a couple hundred bucks in gray. And I'll get back, and if it doesn't taste good, we'll, we'll dump it, and we'll be at the same place as if we weren't we okay. weren't there, you know? So yeah, I was like, yeah. all right. And I said, let's let's do it. <clears throat> I was like, all right. And everything came out perfect. So. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, really cute to me in Florida it, because yeah. it's like, no, 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 there's no, no. There, there's yeah. nothing. There's no selling. There's no selling. You're, you're, <laughs> you're in the ocean at this point. So but yeah, he, um, so he did all of the, the chopping of the cucumber that day and I probably did, I don't know, 40 minutes worth of work in the time and he was still cutting up cucumber and we mm-hmm. got like the organic cucumbers, like the really good ones mm-hmm. and he cut mm-hmm. off all the ends and I'm just like, you know, casually eating them as he's chopping yeah. the rest and man, like snacks. Good so, for yeah, you. I like, love cucumbers. My wife hates them. Oh, I don't know why. No, her deal is with Cucumbers. I don't know if a cucumber I would never looked at her funny one. one day or <laughs> I would drink one. took her yeah. lunch I money. Pi- I'm the same way. I love pickles. 
hate cucumbers. Mm -hmm. uh, I but I that. also like cucumber beer. I mean, so but it's sour. So I'm it's a like weirdo. A pickle, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A sour, anything sour, I'm in. It yeah. blows. It blows a pickle away. I, I yeah. have to. I love pickles. Yeah. I love pickles pickle. too. But yeah. But a pickle you beer. Could, could right. there be? A, yeah. Could you do it? Yeah. yeah. Could there be That's a pickle beer? Yeah. Pickle, pickle beer would be super weird. I mean, would it be a goza? Because it's kind of salty. I mean, the only pickle beers I've ever had were gozas. But I mean, I would consider this is literally just a you know. If you throw some garlic, that makes, I take that sounds about right. right. It's an unpickled <laughs> pickle, but <clears throat> I mean. But it tastes good. Cucumbers to me are like watery salt. I don't even know. Like, mm. but this a cucumber beer. <laughs> watery salt. Do you, you hate like, celery? Do you hate celery? Do you hate celery? No, I like celery because it doesn't taste like anything. I dip in ranch, and then like it's just, it's just a, a ranch, ranch stick. stick. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Just All I need to know is that it tastes good. Uh, it's a ranch stick. It's a ranch stick. become best friends. Oh, <laughs> gosh. I like celery by itself, even. I mean, I could eat yeah, it if like I wanted too. to yeah. suffer. I just like all ranch. food. I've never had a food I didn't like ever my whole life. What? Anything, oh, ever. Not one thing. You. I'm picky. Yeah, in fact, um, <laughs> what's that? Have you tried I've scrapple? I've had scrapple. Okay. I've had scrapple. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's on the. Like, if I'm in Georgia. Like a bad Excuse, if I'm in Georgia in the middle of like scrapple, nowhere like and they have scrapple on the menu, I'll get it. Just like the, the reject parts of the hot dog, <laughs> is that what it is? Okay. Something Ooh. like that, yeah. No, okay. no, no. That's a but, good beer name. So the, 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 <laughs> guy, hot dogs. Yes. the the fellow that was here on the <laughs> side it. watching was sitting here in our studio audience. Uh, that was Jason. He is the uh, the son of our head brewer, of Josh yeah. here. Okay. Oh, cool. And so he's he's been on the last few episodes. There was, there was no room on the couch for him tonight, unfortunately. So he was just hanging Got out with, with his friend. But uh, <laughs> yeah. he's, a, he's in the Army Reserves, and uh, he's been in the Reserves for a few years, and, and he hates MREs, can't stand them, thinks it's the most disgusting thing in the world. And so he's been telling me how bad they are. And I've had tons of friends in the military over the years. I just never had an MRE. Right. And so I said, I'm sure I'll like him. He goes, I got a bunch of them. He goes, I'll, I'll bring you some. I'm like, well. What does that stand for? I know what it is. Oh, but meal it's ready to eat. Yes, meal ready to eat. I don't even remember. Thank just you. add it's water. Awful. Thank you. That's right. Just add water. And they have like these sodium packets inside or something. It's like a card or whatever. Mm -hmm. You add water. It gets crazy hot. Like it'll burn your fingers. Uh, I guess you can make bombs out of them too. But you didn't hear that here. I just heard <laughs> someone tell me that. Don't but so anyway, he brought me this one. It's like a, it's a, it's like a taco seasoned. It's a it's a vegan it's a, actually a, one of the vegan MREs, and I, I, I loved it. It was like chili. It was like the greatest chili ever, and I ate it and loved it. And he's like, "Oh, the peanut butter and crackers that come with disgusting. You won't like that either. Peanut butter is horrible." I ate it. Love that too. How do you mess up peanut butter? I, I, mean, I don't know. Weird. It was uh, well, everything I mean, in it was great. It's an MRE. It's essentially soylent green. I mean, come on, how can you do that? <laughs> I can't do that. It's people. People I, are delicious. I guess. <laughs> Like I, I can't even. I had a conversation earlier today. I cannot stand like the astronaut ice cream. No. What's astronaut ice cream? The freeze oh, actual yeah, it's astronaut like ice cream. Dried food. I mean, it's like, like rotten cotton candy. To it's, be fair, it's oh, essentially I mean, you know MREs, but for astronauts. Yeah, I would eat it and be fine. I'm sure. I, it's I don't know. I'm broken in that sense. I'm like broken. I just I'll, Guys, I'll, I can broken. eat anything. I can eat anything, and it's okay to me. Which is why he's not a brewer. You know, yes, you know, that's you know, that is probably that's exactly. Why beer, that's why I probably don't like cooking either. This is wonderful. Maybe. A million people. No, it's not. No, my yeah. my <laughs> wife had to teach me how to cook eggs. I thought I knew how to cook eggs. Whoa. I thought my eggs were great. She's like, no, that's your eggs are dry. I mean, and it depends just, on just the kind of egg. If you're poaching, yeah. that's out of my level. You want to scramble? I got you. So, <laughs> so I thought I could scramble eggs. Apparently, I couldn't scramble eggs. You put milk in them. You you can't you can't if you want to be fluffier yeah, or whatever. To. That's how you Something. fluff it up. Sour yeah, cream. but I mean, that, that sounds amazing. Cream. My thing is they were yeah. too dry. I, my eggs are too dry, and she taught me how to keep them moving. They gotta be moist, Fluids. whatever. Fluids to your eggs, my friends. Yeah, but. That's uh, what I'm gonna say. Welcome to beer and sunshine, <laughs> where we have the biggest egg debate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, now let's talk about Benedict. <laughs> eggs, oh, I love an no. egg Benedict. Gosh, I love it. Benedict. So anything Benedict. Where so you're so Nikki, you live up near Apollo Beach, uh, right? or in Apollo Beach? Why Mama, which nobody Wai knows Mama. where that is. So I say Ruskin slash Sun City slash Riverview slash any locals. In, in I, I, yeah. spent, I spent two weeks every summer in Why Mama growing up. Oh, you poor soul! <laughs> why so Mama? Sorry. Why? Exactly. That's what everyone says. To me. They have to say that they, there. There is a nice strawberry farm out there, though. Yeah. I mean, and that's about it. So, where do you guys like? What What's good up there besides your amazing brewery? 
what's good in in the area. Oh, like, where do you immediately. where do you go to eat? I mean, like, what do you do up there? Where what? The Stein closest thing to oh, Stein, Stein and Vine. Stein and Vine. Is that Brandon? Technically? That sounds it is. like a it is. It's like a sports bar or like something. Maybe. It is not a sports <laughs> no? bar. It is a gastro pub. Um, a, a guy named Ty and his wife uh, Lacey opened up. They're in Bloomingdale, which is basically the next major road that runs parallel to Boyette. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, he was a beer guy for forever. And in the middle of this strip center that was kind of ghetto, didn't have anything fancy going uh-huh, on, uh-huh. he Thanks. took over this old pub that was like a biker bar. And to this day, it still says pub on top. Yeah. And the funnier part, or the funniest part, is that next door it used to they used to sell guns. So he's also taken over that. So it used to just say pub guns. <laughs> <laughs> Does it still Flora. say pub guns? No, no, I think the guns are gone. That would be like cool. Like the um, between pub and guns. Yeah, yeah so like. hashtag Florida man. And, uh, <laughs> he should he should have left guns up because then you get people coming. Hey man, are you, y'all sell guns in here? Uh, <laughs> no, no sir, no, I, I do not. We do sell beer. That's right, that's yeah. right. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take no, a beer. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll take a beer. I'm not that mad. So just great food, great beer selection. Um, and they've actually uh, expanded, and now he has. He's the one who runs the um, S&V kitchen, S&V kitchen yeah. inside yeah. Copper Tail. Oh, so, their food. Stein and Vine. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Someone's probably yeah. gonna yeah. yell at us for being like, "Oh, how do you forget about this place?" There's probably like a handful of, of <clears> places, <throat> but I mean, Stein and Vine is the one that when people say, "So when I leave here, where do I go?" Because yeah. you know they have just. Their food is awesome, and they're great people too. Well, you, so. you got to tell those when you go go there next time. You got to tell you're friendly with them. You guys, friendly oh yeah, with yeah. Them? yeah. So you got to tell them that you talked about them on my, our beer and sunshine show, and uh, yeah, they well, should they should reach out to I'll us if they're interested. Trip. They yeah. could they could be a guest, well, right? We could have them as a guest. Yeah. 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 Maybe even go up there. We go up there and make it a little, you know. For if, me, it's not like it a I'm thing. like, oh, around my neighborhood, well, I, let's go. I, <laughs> I want I want to yeah. come to you more yeah. that way. You know what I mean? You're not always coming down here. Uh, I'm down uh, here this way. I can't help well, I know, but uh, but you know, I like it's fun to do stuff. Yeah, you know, the good the good beer and sunshine people they want to see us do other things, right? Yeah, absolutely. Go places, get out and about. If you find yourselves sunshine, that honestly. way, uh, we will not only treat you to beer at Levin, but we'll bring you out to dinner. It's like our favorite place to bring people. Really? So I'd love wow. to join us the next time you're in town. I like I like the sound of that. Yeah, absolutely. You're speaking my language. So I drink. <laughs> I like to eat all food. I do. Oh, I eat. do. Eat mm-hmm. things. It's like Andrew Zimmerman over here. Um, <laughs> no, no, let's not go that far. But yeah, I was really. going to ask you guys. So, uh, in the next couple of weeks, what events? You said you have your Funkoween coming up. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else besides your releases? I know there might be some other things for your Mug Club that's coming oh, up. Oh yeah. Or? So, um, I mean, two things come to mind on the twenty sixth. So on Friday, we have a local author, Kristen, who wrote a book called Things to Do in Tampa Bay. Um, so that was recently published, and she included Levin on it. And so really? I, you know, cool. have a party inside my soul about Super it. Cool. Wow, um, that's and like awesome. like I said, she reached out, and she was like, well, I included Levin because, you know, we just really love it here. And I was like, oh, okay. Christ. Wow. Yeah, inside. <laughs> um, so that's on the 26th. And then also another um, a local T-shirt shop she's bringing along with her. And then uh, you were mentioning Mug Club stuff. So... We have this mug club, it's only 100 people, like strictly 100 when we opened because we wanted to be able to manage it. And so we've done some really awesome events, like we had a private Oktoberfest that we I kind of that. like Was made it more above and beyond than we could have for the general public just because, you know, if we're going to do things, we're going to do it well. Um, and so... We were extra. <laughs> <laughs> and so with our mug club, we are bringing them to Disney World on the brew bus, and we are going to drink around the world with You're them. You're freaking kidding me? Really? He's like dying inside. He just death <laughs> caught last week. I weekend. just came Bye. from there. Yeah, this weekend, yeah, me and my family. Excited. It was Friday, myself. Were you? Yep. <laughs> uh, so I was there. I got there fri- uh, Friday night. Or, so, no, no, I'll take it back. Sorry. I just missed you. I bailed on Friday. No, I bailed on Friday because I stayed here for a little... little uh, birthday party for one of the guys here at the brewery and then um i went saturday morning at like 4 30 in the morning or i got up and then i left at like 5 15 i was on one of my motorcycles boogieing uh to orlando and uh, in the dark which was which is which is whatever and uh I sp- we spent the whole day saturday at epcot i think i experienced heat stroke for the first time oh, in my no, life oh yeah I was I was drinking beer and mm, yeah. Bloody Marys and stuff, whatever, all and eating drinks. eating all yeah, eating beer food. Yeah, sunshine too hard. I yeah. beard I would, but too much beer, too much sunshine. Um, 
<laughs> and yeah, this but uh, yeah, I did did that uh, all day Saturday. But well, that's awesome. Well, that you guys gonna do that? Go back. We're going. On I November do not. 12th. I do not actually. I absolutely <laughs> I do <out>. not. <laughs> I literally have already thought ahead to next year because my like we did it last year. My uh, my one uh, my uh, brother in law Harry and, and uh, my sister in law Robin they they're part of that Disney Vacation Club. Mm. So they have we they get a get us a place in the, tr- the, the tree houses. Mm-hmm. The tree houses I think they're built in like the forties fifties whatever. They're really they're old, awesome. old school looking in the forest. It's neat and uh, it's a great place. I love hanging out with the family, but that walking around just walking and it's eating and walking and eating and drinking. I don't know if that's like a great thing to do. It's like, the best. Not in the sun. It's a I don't, in, the, in, in the, the heat. Sun. In the Florida there's, there's heat. There's plenty of shade and AC. You have to learn to Disney. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, have, you, you have to, to learn to Disney. Yeah, 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 true. Oh, and if I can interject real quick. Of course you can. You can. Nikki, happy birthday. Oh, Nikki, happy Nikki, birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday so, to someone yes. who shares my name. One yes. of our other bartenders. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, One of our Nikki. other bartenders. Oh, I yeah. met her, actually. I thought you said she was going to come. I was like, how do you spell your name? I thought she, there were going to be two I, other K-K-I, people coming. I was like, she's, me too, girl. We're friends now. She's been schooling and whatnot, but it's her <laughs> yeah. birthday today, so yeah. happy birthday, Nikki. Happy birthday. Yeah. That's <laughs> a good interjection. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. What is, <laughs> KJ, what does this thing for us? What is this? Good boy Bailey. Good boy Bailey. Yeah. That they have. I hear it mm-hmm. called the G Boy all the time. Is yes. this is it's he, good boy. is this really it's part of the label? Good boy. That's, good boy is that how? That's how it is. Yep. Yep. So th- th- this He's is printed. Like this is printed like this, so or did you guys write that? Know. You didn't write that, did you? That's written. You That's wrote written. that. <laughs> That's your handwriting. That's yes. My handwriting. Really. But your handwriting should be its own font. Thank you. I handed the kid over to her and said, "Here, I want them to be able to read this." No way. So this is the the Good Boy Bailey. And uh, that is our core IPA. 7.7. It's, uh, 7.7. It's good. Um, Citra. Citra Mosaic and mm-hmm. Marillo. Um, East Coast style. Just a little, a little more East good Coast one. style. Not, not as uh, bitter. Yeah. Um, it's only like 65 Easy drinking IBUs. for that percentage. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so. Which can be dangerous. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. at, at 11, so because we are in the suburbs, we don't have the cool kid beers. Uh, most right. of our beers are very approachable, classic core styles. Um, our, our five flagships are Good Boy Bailey. We have a um, Cheeky Blonde. Not, not this one. She likes Cheeky Blonde. <laughs> she is a Cheeky Blonde, she is, for she sure. She is a Cheeky Blonde. Um, <laughs> Definitely. But just a regular uh, Blonde Ale. We have a uh, Kolsch, which we yep. call Is Good Kolsch. Good Kolsch. Um, good <laughs> we have an Irish Red called The Red. And we have a Oatmeal Stout called... Quaker, uh, goats. Quaker goats. What? Quaker, Quaker goats. goats. Quaker goats. You know, like Quaker oats. Yeah, but right, right but, but goats. Like goats like Quaker right, goats. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's great. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So I nice love. Nice. I love a good oatmeal stout. Love oh, it. Oh, it's it's a good one. It, it is a good one. Um, well, this this really is delicious. It's great. It's really I, it good. Took me a couple. I'm not gonna lie. I learned about a month ago. I was like, goat. Why does everyone keep saying goat? Why mm-hmm. is goat a thing? And I was like, greatest of all. I googled it. My friend, I also googled it. Yeah. I, I was like, I'm not greatest of all time. Greatest they're, of they're all time, goat. And then you that got me older goat. Awesome. I saw that as well. Okay, so if there's any like testimony to how wonderful our people are, um, so we have a beer named the Quaker Goats, and one day in the mail, you know, normally I get bills and that's the worst. Um, <laughs> I get this package and I open it and it's like fake grass and this stuffed animal goat that was like. Just you know, staring up and yeah, smiling, yeah. and I'm like a goat, and so, it said, "You goat male," and it just said, um, uh, "Here's here's a new friend. Uh, we think Levin is the greatest brewery of all time." And so, of course, I had a nice cry sesh. Who is this from? I don't know. It's a mystery goat. There's Nobody will so tell There's so many us. mysteries surrounding goats. So this is There's just a, from a, a random person. It's not from a business a co- trying to. Nope. No, it's just mystery goat. And mystery also, mystery goat. can I segue into your mystery face pics all over the place? Oh my goodness! What? I just don't understand. <laughs> what? Yeah. what mystery face pics? They have such a following and such a love. Like I'll show people are you putting out picture. stickers of their faces and putting them in different breweries. Oh and wait, hold on, goes, hold on, hold on. His face and her face. Oh yeah, look, yes. this is the thing. That's inside Hidden Springs. It's a yeah. thing. That's, That's a sticker. That's a sticker. Thing. And, and it's <laughs> at random places. No idea where they're coming Nobody from. Nobody knows a where they're coming from. Is this happening to other breweries? 
I we've we've just been told that they're starting to appear. So like um, the girls from that is you know it's the best marketing ever. Well, it does, wait, <laughs> oh, does it wait? Did it? it, does it, it no, 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 no. It doesn't say It doesn't say Eleven Brewing. But it doesn't say Eleven Brewing. It doesn't say Eleven Brewing anywhere. No, no, it's just us. It's just and no, but nobody knows who you are per se, yeah, right? right? I mean, if like if I saw it right. and I didn't meet you, you'd be like, I'd be like, who are these guys? Why are these? Why is this lovely couple? Holy crap! Are they, yeah. are they the soap people? It's, I, I would say it's cool if it said Levin Brewing somewhere. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I, but I that's a little creepy, right? I, well, I, I think it's just we have that's, a lot of practical jokers. Like, there's a lot of unsolved mysteries at the brewery. Like the go, oh, we have the some cardinals. stuff with cardinals. The like cardinals, wait, cardinals? Uh, cardinals. What does that mean? Man, you've, I walked like into the bathroom to clean them one day. Yeah. We don't have stuff like that here at Big Top. That <laughs> definitely never happens here. Nothing like no that ever happens here. Unfortunately. Yeah, but nothing like that ever happened. We don't have any weird stuff like that here ever. I don't. Hold know. on, you don't have a brewery that brews naked? That's kind of weird. Uh, well, uh, okay. okay. We are okay. famous. <laughs> we are famous for that. Josh. We are famous we for that, that one thing. That's that the one, one thing we're the famous for. The naked brewer. So Jillian was pulling into the brewery while we were still building, and there was a cardinal that would like, like an actual bird. An oh, actual, actual bird. bird. Okay. Would gotcha. dive bomb in front of her car. As she would drive in, and the animal lover that she is, she'd freak out and slam on her brakes, and you know the cardinal would fly by and kind of give her the bird, and like, Haha, I made you stop, right? <laughs> and so she goes on this whole diatribe on social media about this cardinal and how it's aggravating her, and then like three like, fifteen second long videos that have yeah. like doomed us to, to and that cardinal was it. hell, and <laughs> it really is true. and. A few days later, we got this little stuffed cardinal Someone sitting... Someone just left it on my car. On her car. So, like, I walk out, I see a stuffed cardinal on my car, like a stuffed animal, not like a real bird. Yeah. And then, uh... <laughs> okay. And I, I'm like... Good, not a dark turn. What the heck? Like, <laughs> that would have been interesting. Really? Like, really, this is a thing. And so, uh, after that, I'm once again sitting, you know, doing whatever I do at the brewery in the morning, and we get a package. package in the mail, open it up, and I was like, you've got to be joking me. You know and those horse a, head masks? It's, it's a, a cardinal it's a one cardinal of those. Mask. Mm-hmm. And then we've gotten Your little friends cardinal have too much free time. So figurines. You, you might have the greatest and marketing genius of all time the just is, pranking you, and you need to take it. advantage of all this. <laughs> However, take advantage of all of it. None of it's Levin branded. It's just inside but, joke. But yeah. I'm saying brand all of it and make it your own. Yeah. I say you should, I, that's we what I say. That's what I would do. Beer. We do. Oh, we did. We so did. We, uh, okay. I would totally. Yeah, that little, that little, is that little cardinal somewhere in the brewery? Oh, there's in the brewery. All right, so that's awesome. And then what'd you do with the mask? Oh, we wear it every we, we once wear it in a while. Time. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then we now, it. now, now, what you do is because it's not you doing it; it's some weirdo that just happens to be doing it. <laughs> now, make those same sticker things, but now brand it with Levin Brewing and keep putting them out there. You should, yeah, Cardinal. Give them out to people. Yeah. Give them out to customers. Brand it with Levin Brewing. Put, and put it no, give them out to customers. Thanks for having a beer. Here's give my face. Yes, give them the customers. Give them the customers and tell them to put it somewhere. Yeah. Say, go it's a game. put this oh, random wow. somewhere. Go put it take somewhere. Take a picture, hashtag it, love and bring, and then you yes. enter to win yes. free beer. Yes, on their Instagram. I have a marketing yes. team. Their names uh, are... Customers. Are your marketing <laughs> team... No, your marketing team is called Customers. Yeah. Dude, no and some secret Please, weirdo. No your secret weirdo is your marketing your department. secret weirdo. I, I love that. Well, That's lovingly said. What a dream come true. Beer name dibs. Secret weirdo. Oh, She's taking it right now. Secret Weirdo, if you're watching this, thank you very much from them. They're thanking you right now. You're the best. Keep it up. Keep doing it. Inspired by. Yeah, we keep doing it. We have a list of beer names because we have conversations like this, and we'll like Mm -hmm. hear something like, "Oh, that's that's the best way to come up with beer names." That's why I love your guys' beer names because they're always like so they're like random (laughs) but relatable. Yeah, I'm like yes, and some of them are really terrible, and I'm like, oh, what were we doing when I thought of that? It's okay. It's a bad idea. It's okay. If you ever need, if you ever want a name for something, that is my my jam. Uh, it's well, it's like my superpower. <laughs> it's like my, my super. Super-power. It's I'm telling you. Well, if I'm somebody sorry, goes, if somebody goes, if somebody says, oh, I'm trying to figure out a name for this. I have named so many of my friends' businesses, products. It's ridiculous. Like it just you give me a few minutes. Like I'll, I'll work on it. Sometimes it takes me a couple hours, and I just come up with something. And they go, "Oh my god, that's great! I'm not I love it. It's awesome!" And all of a sudden, you wake up in the middle. I'm not of the kidding. Night yeah, night. no, 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 I, I do. <gasps> yeah, I do. I, I fix. Actually, I fix my motorcycles in my sleep all if the you time. Want something pop culture? I got you. Like if you want to brew a baby shark. You're good. Oh. Like, besides that, <laughs> I'm not going to be that helpful. That song's going to be stuck uh, in my head all night now. Literally, 
literally saw a meme what? last night. It's like that's when a song. On the couch, you don't hear it's a song. Do you have any kids? Do, 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 do. Like, oh no no no! Do no, I have no, any kids? No, I no kids either. Don't think but, so. Uh, I do not. I do uh, not. Okay, so that's why you don't, don't know this song. So. Boyfriend yeah. that's almost a oh. child, so that's yeah. why I know. Or a girlfriend that's almost. Oh, a child. I mean, I'm Uncle Ryan. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of a man child myself. He's like watching. It's like like strobe lights with like baby shark at the club. I was like, no no no, no no no. Save yourself now and don't look it up. Don't. You're gonna be. It's gonna be like literally in your brain and your soul for the next four years. Maybe you should edit this video or this like thing once it's not live and make the outro like baby shark <laughs> <laughs> I'm about it. I'll do it. well anybody who's watching this that doesn't know what that is like myself will be looking it up after this is over is this i'm watching it right now actually <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I oh i thought you were watching the baby shark thing right now <laughs> <laughs> you're not even ready for baby shark no no Darn Please, it. Don't, don't do that to yourself we've ruined lives now ruined lives so <laughs> all right so that's your so this delicious sour your cucumber sour your your delicious uh Good was it called? Good boy. Good boy, boy Bailey. Bailey. Good boy Bailey. Yep. Right. So, what is Good Boy Bailey? Where did that name come from? Uh, Who's Bailey? Bailey was my beloved family dog who we've lost now. Just about at the start of the brewery, he was an old boy. He was like twenty, which sounds ridiculous. What? Was well, he, he was not too ridiculous. Old. Okay, he I had like, an eighteenth-year-old whippet that just uh, we just 17. put down. Okay, he was like eighteen. There's because like he was around. My whippet forever. was eighteen, was, and put we just put him down. Right, and he was the best boy, and so my dad. He, what kind of dog was he? Uh, West Highland Terrier. Oh, he's a cute one. He's no guy. such yeah. a good boy. I don't know. I don't know that breed oh, of terrier. I'll bring up the picture. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, but anyway, so we started the brewery, and the very first beer KJ brewed was this IPA. And my dad walks in and goes, "Oh, you know, it's kind of poetic that you're starting a beer for the first time, and today was Bailey's last day." And I was like, you know, of course, me, emotional, crying again. Yeah. And so he's like, "You should name it after Bailey." And was I, I supposed to say no? Yeah, come on. So it's not, right. <laughs> it's not a bad name. That's no. what I like a. That's what I really like. So for everyone's like, names. "Hey, let me get some of the G boy." All yeah, the time. it's not G boy. It's, it's G boy. Because like, when you like talk to a dog, times a night. you talk to a dog, you're like, "Oh, who's a good boy?" Like that, you have a dog voice, right? But if somebody wants to call it G boy, that's yeah. not too bad yeah, either. No. And it's kind of cool. Let call but I mean, it maybe it now they'll see where it's coming from, and you yeah, know, it's right. Just right. You know what this is? It's a dog that's no longer with us, and yeah. then they would just be like, "Well, oh, you know," and it's funny too because like I've witnessed people say like, "Oh, you know, what is this story behind this beer?" Da da da. And like Uncle Ryan will tell the story, and then people just get really somber, and they kind of—I mean, it's not going to be a happy get, like, ending. They, they take that on, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Carlos, uh, Carlos still enjoy calls your G-boy. beer, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. As long cry as you're pouring it out, it now, like, I'm crying. Like, honor, it. I'm happy because that's the last I got to clean, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. By the way, that 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 uh, was my impression of our chef up in Pensacola. Dan Dunn. Mm-hmm. Dan Dunn. He loves. It. He sends us random Hi, text messages that just say "motherfucker." He's the craziest guy ever. He's the coolest. <laughs> it makes the best food. I can't Unbelievable wait to go there food. and meet him for the first time and just be like... Are you going to Pensacola? Not right now, but... Oh, like, oh. Well, can, <laughs> let me tell you. But when we do, we're going to... Can we meet Dan? Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he'll love you. He'll love <laughs> like, you. run to his face. You'll, like, you'll, you'll love him and his wife. They're great people. But, um... He's like a no, it's, Samuel Jackson. If you ever do want to go to the Panhandle for, for a fun family vacation, the uh, Pensacola is an awesome city. It's incredible. That's where the Sourfest is. Mm. Do they have such a, 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 an amazing little Florida's best kept secret little tiny little town there? That downtown area and all the little it's bars and the restaurants Alabama. and all the it's businesses there. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so great. Yeah, the, it's it's like out. everybody knows everybody there. It's yeah. biz- I've never seen anything like it anywhere. We took a family vacation up, up that way um, on the west side of Pensacola, and uh, it was like. Um, a Chad and Brad fest. <laughs> where, where, where did you go? Or a dude bro fest. Where did you it go? It was a dude bro fest. Okay. It where was did you like go? the Chad ultimate Brad. frat party. Chad it was Brad. the ultimate Chad frat Brad. party. Like, did you go to like Panama City? No, we were just. Well, we were outside of Panama City. What was it? Yeah. Al- it was probably Alice Gulf Beach? Shores. Alice oh. Beach or I something. Or, or I, don't yeah. I don't know. I mean, Gulf know. Shores was, was pretty close. It was right around there. It was yeah. just like. <laughs> Uh-huh. The Speary game was strong. With the Speary game. <laughs> Whoa, the boat shoes, I could smell them from six uh, miles away. Every I time I see those, I think of high school. In yeah. the 80s, it's the Sperry Topsiders, that was like the, my boat shoe. Yeah, no. They yeah, were the like, best. I love their I, I wore short boys. shorts, but some of those guys were like, I'm like, whoa, that's oh, a lot. Oh, yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. Too much, <laughs> so. too much. Yeah. 
You're you're That's literally a, a walking Chubby's ad sometimes. For sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get jealous because I'm what like, I can pull it. A Chubby's ad? home from work before to be like, Dom, your shorts are really short. <laughs> Shorty shorts. I've gotten jealous. I'm just like, I wish I could pull those off. <laughs> so is there anything else that we want to cover and make sure that the people know for 11? Um, I mean, the people should know that we super appreciate you guys because like, a, this is so much Wait, fun. hold on a second. What was on that? That that the, the she emailed you something, right? You emailed some stuff, and I my response to her was just tell her she can talk about anything she wants. Oh, no, like, I just said oh, I asked her things <laughs> that you want to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but I mean we've we've kind of. Um, I don't remember what those two things were. That's why I said that. Cause... That's why I was like, why am I even saying this to Tommy? Tommy has a memory of a little baby goldfish. Yes, I do. It's true. Well, it's so the sad. Fact is he remembered there were things to talk about, but mm-hmm. I mean, we've, that's we've, a memory. Two things. Yeah. I remembered it's a, something. It's a memory. <laughs> we've organically kind of touched on everything. I yeah. think so. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. What do you guys have coming up here? Uh, any events or anything? Are we're you talk- yeah, yeah, you guys so going to be found anywhere? Or seen anywhere? Are you going in any 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 uh, um, outings? The thing is, like, I mean, we're so small, and I. I think what we do well is we we know who we are and where we're at. Like, we're not trying to be bigger than we are just yet. Like, it makes me giggle when people are like, oh, so, like, do you have any barrel-aged beer? And I'm like, well, man, I've been <laughs> six, Dude, months, six months. Yeah, oh, no, that's I haven't good, even that's bought good. a barrel yet. Like, yeah, calm no, down. Like, it, everything in due time. Because if you're going to do it well, you're going to do it in due time. Yeah. And if you guys like, want to buy a barrel, by the way, we can probably hook you up here at Big Top. Sweet. Because we have a container in the back that has about... Six to nine barrels. Cool. So good one. Really good. Really good one. If one disappeared, you wouldn't it's notice. No. Well, hey, listen, <laughs> listen. The, the, eight barrels. The boys six here. The boys barrels, here right. are <laughs> incredibly generous. They're great yeah. people, and I mean, helped out many local breweries. If they don't give you one, they'll 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 sell you one pretty cheap. I'm sure. I don't see cool. any reason why we have so many barrels. But at one, at one time, there were, I'm sure there was a good reason. But there now, was a phase. Now, <laughs> like we went through a phase. We were like, let's we, barely we, do Yeah, we probably went through a phase. People started like. You barrel know, aged blonde, like, barrel aged red, so barrel aged yeah. IPA. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not complaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. You need your like, you know, your dose of barrel aged, but you, you don't want to be barrel aged. <laughs> Everything, <laughs> then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, think, yeah. I don't know. We just respect um, all the awesome things. You know, our our beer. Um, like, what's the word for someone who's come before you? That's slipping my brain. Predecessors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, I don't know. There are so many people who have done great things, so we're not going to rush into doing it all. And you just so want to do your own thing. And distribution's do it. one of those. Yeah. Like, it's just not something sure. that we could do. We have three five barrel fermenters, and so it's just not an option. Um, and, like, Florida laws need to change. Somebody do something about it. Mm-hmm. Change the laws, Florida. Please. Change them. Um, but, yeah, like, um, I don't know. We just, I think we respectfully see how we fit in the beer community, and we take everything, like, low yeah. and slow. and. And we're, where we're at right now, we're we're dealing with a lot of Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light drinkers. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So, yeah. like, our job right now is to... Make educate. an awesome uh, lager pilsner or something. Yeah, so like we, something that they can... Uh, like yeah. our Kolsch and our Blonde is, is yeah. our training wheels mm-hmm. beer. Yep, yep, and yep, yep, we yep. get them on there, and then they, they try our red, and then they try... Uh, we just did a, an American wheat that, like, everyone's, like, loving. And so mm-hmm. the people who were... Bud Light drinkers, you know, they got used to the Bud to uh, you know the cheeky blonde, and now they're going on to the wheat, and then they're going on to yeah. you know the the red and the IPA, and so now we've important. got people who like we're part of the education of craft yes. beer, and and that's that's what let, we're trying let, to let do. Let me let me I'll tell you a quick story. So uh, on the one, and I'll say this: on the one hand, you know, people that are not craft beer drinkers the people that come in and go do you have any regular beer do you have any regular beer do you have just like kind of like cord light or bud light or something like that i just want a regular beer I want a new, it's fancy they craft beer they all do sound like that they all do sound like that they all do sound like that. Yeah, they, <laughs> so so for those people what you have to explain to them is hey you know what you know what? that type of beer right you're talking about lager or pilsner or something like that that that's the type of beer that most people you see that's the that's the first level of yeah. beer drinking the next level is this. The next level is that. Mm-hmm. I need somebody needs to do like a chart that literally goes to the different steps of the palate and what you can and working up to your hoppy mm-hmm. stuff, working up to the IPAs, and then beyond that, when you start to get real greedy for the alcohol and you start getting into your double imp- your imperials <laughs> and stuff like that, right? Hi. Doubles and triples and quads. <laughs> mm-hmm. You start doing all that stuff. 
It'd be cool to see that in almost like a flowchart type thing. In a fun graphic on a t-shirt, whatever. So, so can we'll we see that in that? about two weeks. I, <laughs> listen, yeah. I, I yeah. was, I was one, 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 <laughs> that, one, one night, one night when I was, I was feeling particularly intelligent. I was hanging out with uh, some friends and there was this dude and his wife and his two kids. Uh, daughter was, was a teenager. Son had just turned 21. Mm -hmm. And this kid was just all about the beer. He just couldn't wait to try all the beer, want to know everything about beer. And I somehow was able to lay it out to him, almost like I was on some acid trip or something. <laughs> I was I was like, so here's how it goes. The first beer, and then it goes into like a Hefeweizen. And from a Hefeweizen, it was like a, to a red. I was basically giving him my own personal Trip. Experience beer, yeah. your own, my beer own trip journey, yeah. and then explaining to him how hops and bitter, bitter, bitterness that bitterness is an acquired taste, and it takes a little while to acquire it. But once you do, it kind of opens your palate up to even more stuff and whatever. Mm -hmm. and you start to, you know, recognize the different uh, different flavors, the different uh, notes. You know, the the when you take a sip of a beer, what you taste on the front, the first thing you mm -hmm. taste, the, the the middle of your palate, the back, all that. Almost like I was, almost like I was explaining to him the cor like course of like being a, like a Cicerone or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, which this for me, I was a brand brand new to hoppy beers. Mm -hmm. I had appreciated craft beers, but I had no idea what I was talking about. Drinks but somehow I myself had just been. Uh, yeah, but I laid yeah. this out for this guy. I've never been able to repeat exactly what I said, and it's a shame because it really was a perfect, in my opinion, and, and from talking to other people, a perfect explanation of like how the how the palate. Uh, evolves. Appreciates and evolves, yeah. right? You know, mm -hmm. beer. But uh, that, you know, that would be a cool thing. Yeah. And, and to position yourself like that, when those people come in, I think that's the way. You know, I'm, I'm sure as a, as a bartender, you probably do something similar to that. We explain oh, to them, hey man, the this is training wheels, like, dude. People training come on wheels, in right? With flights, and I will start true. them in. Like I'll be like, all right, here's your lightest to your heaviest yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. like even me myself, like my first craft beer was a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Yeah. And I, yeah. most yeah. people. I, yeah. I, Choked trying to put that down. I was like, I can't do this. And now I'm a hophead. I, yeah. I chase yep. after Same. IPA. Me too. So. Me too. Yeah. yeah. And, so. and what's funny is it's a learning curve. A yeah. Process. We, we were when we were in Nashville. We were talking to one of the uh, the brewers there, and how brewers kind of tend to be the not trendsetters, but like oh, yeah. their their palates kind of like move forward. And and I think in the next um, little bit, you'll see a lot more well made. Pilsners. Pilsners and mm -hmm. and like Czech Bush beers Pilsners. and Pilsners. different stuff like that and pails and blondes and so like it's it's it goes like full circle you well, know yep. mm -hmm. and and so my greatest compliment is when someone tastes like my Kolsch and say mm -hmm. oh that, that's like a a Coors Light but with flavor right like, right right yes because right, right. mm -hmm. yeah um you know those I those big brewers those sort of beers and I got hooked on it for about I three weeks Kohl's. I yeah, so I've and never I've never push. stopped I've like never I have not yeah. found one beer that we those those that big brewers like. are really amazing brewers they just make a one style of beer yeah mm -hmm. yep. so yep. so an American lagers is is a great style but it's not the yep. only style that's right so there's so many different styles of beers you need to learn to expand your palate and us as brewers need to not just do, you know, double barrel age coconut, you know, <laughs> that's or, right, you know, that's right, know. yeah. Like we needed right. to learn um, finesse as well. Yeah, well, this is yeah. the thing that I feel like is really interesting between the, you know, the the wine world and the beer world, right? Is that wine, you know, subconsciously has this class or this elegance, and you know, subconsciously, like, oh, I don't like this, but I'm gonna have to build up to this. Why can't beer have that too? Like For that, sure, it, it, can. it does. It, it does. does. It, it does. does. It does. But it does. Subconsciously, I feel like people feel like, oh no, beer is is not classier. Beer is not refined. You know, there's all these, um, you know, uh, predeterminations about what mm -hmm. beer is, mm -hmm. and people are so wrong. You know, it, it, it's That's like true. honestly, I have had beer can be delicate. Way too. better mm -hmm. beers than I've had wines a million times in my yeah. life, and I'm like, yeah. sit them side by side. You would throw that beer into the ground. Yeah, break and, that beer wall, and Nikki. Like, savor, you know, whatever it is. It's yeah. just, it, it's crazy to me that there is this. Um, but we're also in a very transitional, I think, part of uh, you know, beer culture, where it is becoming a more sophisticated. You know, not even sophisticated, but just something that you're not going to run into and know that, like, oh, I'm going to like this, I'm going to like that, I'm going to like that. You know, it's the same as wine, where it's like you look at wine. I don't like a really heavy, dark red wine, but I can build up to that. I can try different things, and I know that my palate isn't accustomed to that. 
same with beer. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and well, when you when you drink wine with someone that really knows wine, for me, I, I keep I keep going back to Ed from from uh, um, Calusa. Uh, Calusa. Yeah. Ed Ed said the greatest one of the wisest things I think when it related to beer or, or drinking wine or whatever is it's about context. Mm-hmm. You know, if somebody. It, it, the situation you're in, you know that that memory, that whatever, the, 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 all that. But at the same time, when that person sitting there across the table from you says, "In this beer, you know, you're looking for this flavor here. You're looking at that flavor there. You should taste this. You know, it should be bitter here, and then on the back side, you're gonna get this." When they put everything in, in, into context and they tell you what what it is that's happening and and what you should expect, it changes the entire experience mm-hmm. tremendously. And wine is just like that. You know, I even I. We we brew our, our Ashley Gang and have been brewing it. It's, a, it's one of our staple beers. Uh, everybody here that works at, at Big Top, we that's the beer that we go to. That's our heavy hitter. It's nine nine point eight percent Dublin Imperial IPA, and uh, we brewed a new batch and we were testing it. We we're tasting it, and I thought I, was like, oh, I don't know. I was like, it's, it's something something. It doesn't seem as floral as as it, it normally does, and whatever. And then uh, Tom Harris, who, who is, um, is our brew house manager. He tasted it, and he's and he's he's a very experienced guy. He owns a brew, brew life here in Sarasota. He's a brewer himself, and a great brewer. Um, and I think he has a great palate. Oh, yeah. A lot of the stuff that he enjoys that he likes, I like. And so, if if he tells me it's good, or he says I'm going to like something, I know I'm going to. Um, and I like the beer, beers he brews. But so he tasted it. He's like, well, he goes, I think it's just not as sweet, but it still has this or that, whatever. And he's like, and then he says something about pineapple. I'm like, pineapple. Like, I've never gotten pineapple out of that. Yeah. He goes, well, he goes, eh, next time we have one together, whatever. I was like, yeah. I was like, you need to tell me what I'm looking for so I know how to know. You, right, how yeah. to identify the, the spear so I can better judge it, you know, next time um, be before map. I speak out of turn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's when people have that yeah, trained palate mm-hmm. and it's their perception of taste, yeah. you know, and they know what they're looking for yeah. and they yeah. know how to explain it and articulate that right. mm-hmm. the right way. You know, um, that's one thing that we can take from the sommeliers and and there's so many different words that they have to describe oh, and yeah. and their perception of taste yeah. where, where they taste those little nuances yep. um, that we just need to start taking beer drinking as sophisticated yeah you know, and, and, and yeah. it is like yeah. Nikki was saying like yeah. Nikki was saying but it's and it's there and you know I'll say this uh, for now ever since I got into craft beer every brewery that I go to I first thing I do is I look for a pilsner I look for a look to see if they have a pilsner. Yeah. If you have a pilsner, I got I want to try it. If you have a good pilsner to me, that's an awesome brewery because of what yeah. you said. Exactly what you said a, a few minutes ago, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, um, uh, finesse. Yeah. You know, or, or or I think that's the word you use. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It, and you, if can't, you can make if you, you can't can make hide a, behind it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you can make if you can take a if you can take a, a, a your pilsner. Or, or whatever, basic, and yeah. set it down next to a Coors, a Miller Lite, well, whatever, and have every have. To, what's your favorite? You know, if people try. Let's say they like all these beers. They try those, and they drink yours, and they take yours over all those. You you, you nailed it. You Absolutely. did it right. You know. I think, so. so I'm I'm not the brewer. I'm a really awesome assistant brewer on the days that I help. <laughs> but I you could not leave me alone. I would definitely mess it up. Um, so I feel like I'm allowed to say this, uh, and probably KJ wouldn't. But I think what we like found any kind of like beer success on is the fact that it's clean true to style and it's repeatable so like yeah kj repeats his beers time and time again and like there's been a handful of instances where he's been like oh i don't like this kolsch and it, it's gotten dumped. It's not, hey, let's cover it up with something. It's, mm-hmm. this isn't what I wanted. I don't want to let's give dump this it. to people. Yeah, yeah, so like, and you know, I think that's what you're saying. Like, it's if someone admirable. comes in and tries our Kolsch and they really like it, I'm like, oh, that's a, that's, that's great. Awesome. You know? That's awesome. That's but awesome. But I, I kind of want to bounce to what Dom said, because you were saying about like how um, people were explaining what's taste. He put it super simple. Like, someone gave you the map for your journey. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's so, yeah. Yeah. that's like, you're a genius. You're well, just cool. so smart, Dom. Not just a pretty face, Dom. Not just <laughs> a pretty face. <laughs> smart one here tonight. Well, Thank this, you. Tell my mom that, please. Okay. <laughs> this, 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 this is a, a huge... I'm curious about uh, what point oh. we're getting to. Well, are, we, are we running... I was going to say, let's wrap it up. Let's yeah. wrap it up here. I think yeah, we're, we might as well end, 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 on, a, half, end so. on a high <laughs> note here and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> before my, before we run out of juice. I mean, you guys yeah. got to go. We can keep drinking. Oh, well, we, we can keep drinking. <laughs> we can keep drinking. Just like, but, let's uh, be silent on the air, just drinking for like the next three hours. <laughs> right? but, well, uh, thanks again, Dan. Yeah. Thanks, thanks so much for uh, for doing this with us. It was a pleasure to meet you guys. I look forward to coming up there at eleven. That's definitely going to happen. 
Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll, I will bring my wife, and uh, we'll have a good time. Yeah, we're not too far. We're just uh, mm -hmm. exit 250 on 75. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bum River View and Boyette. We're open yeah. Wednesday through Sunday. Find us on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Really friendly, too. I was going to say, so if you guys haven't followed them already, make yeah. sure you follow them on uh, at Love and Brewing on Instagram and on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, they're super awesome. Nice people. You're not going to miss out. Also, oh. get some good beers. Besides she's that. nice. I'm kind of a dick. So, no, that's okay. I mean, uh, she, she's she's the pretty. She's nonsense. the face of business. She's mm -hmm. beautiful. So. I just, I just <laughs> make a beer. Jillian's awesome. And, I'll be and, there too. Yeah, yeah. and he'll, he'll be there. Also awesome. Go see Dom and uh, <laughs> Uncle Ryan. You know, come Uncle back. Ryan. Ryan. Go see Uncle Ryan. Come back and see beer and such. In here, we we do uh, a live show here on Facebook every Tuesday at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And of course, you can find our older episodes here on our Facebook uh, page and on YouTube as yep. well. And uh, have a beer-tastic day, and f don't ever forget to believe in the power of beer. We'll see you Thank next you guys. time. Have a Cheers. Great week. Thanks. Bye. And here's the awkward part where we shut off the camera. Yeah, it's the awkward <laughs> part because we don't have a camera. You're closest. Oh, You're closest. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. I can pull my mic off faster. Yeah, wait. Oh, she beat me. She beat me. See ya. <laughs>